How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Average Garage. In today's episode, we're diving into the sill repairs. Now, I filmed an intro before, didn't like it, um, and a lot has happened since then. So, one thing I'm going to say is panel and painters probably don't get paid enough, or if they do, I don't know. But either way, this work is crap. I really don't like it. I can see why some people do, but I don't. Anyways, today we're going to dive into the sill panels. Uh, we've obviously done the rust repairs. Today we're going to bog it up and pretty much paint it. We're not painting with a gun and we're not doing it professionally. This is just a near enough, good enough until the whole car goes off the panel and paint. At which point I'll get new sills put on it anyways. So this is just enough for now. But yeah, let's dive into it. You'll see the paint process. I strip it all back. Um, we put some bog on there. I screw it up a couple of times. I don't know how much I filmed. But yeah, and then we painted it satin black. Then I learnt that my bog skills were absolutely terrible, so I skimmed it back again, gave another skimmer bog, and <laughs> did it all again. Now I've put some underbody coating on it, but let's jump into it. Cheers, guys. So I got me Rage Gold there. So I've been told golf ball to a P um, as far as the body filler to um, hardener. So I'm going to attempt to do that now. Now this is going to be pretty sketchy because I don't have an actual mix tray or mix tablet or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I will be probably mixing it on a cardboard box. So that's all I got to work with. Um, so yeah, let's give it a go. So now I've got me sanding block here and all I'm doing is in one direction swiping along the repair. So yes, it's uh, going to take some time but we'll get there. But it's pretty much slow and steady, fill the lows, knock in the highs, all that sort of stuff. So I don't think I mix this bog properly, I don't think I put enough hardener in this section but I could be wrong because that stuff over there turned out a hell of a lot better. But um, yeah, this stuff doesn't seem like it's sanding the same. All right guys, so I've done all of the bog work on the car, or like 99% of it. I've got one more little patch to do, which I'm gonna do in a bit. Now I did screw up with the bog on one of the uh, mixes that I made, it didn't quite go hard, so obviously I didn't put enough hardener in it. So that was a pain in the ass because it just killed all of my sandpaper. I lost my absolute shit. I uh, rage quitted it really hard. I threw stuff around the shed. I was so pissed off. Every time, anytime I have more bog and paint to do, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to give it to somebody else and get them to do it because that's a shit job. So <laughs> drop in the comments if you do it for a living or if you've done it because it's a pain in the ass. But uh, anyways, let's have a look at the car. All right, now this isn't the cleanest job in the world, and I've gone into this understanding that it's not going to be, but uh, that is obviously the front of the sill panel. So you can see um, dodgy, or well, not dodgy, but you can see stuff under the primer, but I'm not really that fussed about it because it's gonna be undercoated. Um, I'm tossing up whether I'm gonna satin black the top and undercoat like half the sill, which is probably what I'll do to be honest, but yeah. Here we go. So the other side of the sill we've got, you can see that um, lump here is actually a hole in the bottom, one of the drainage holes. But anyways, it is what it is. It's not the cleanest, it's not the best, but it's good enough. And uh, like I said, it's all gonna be satin and undercoated. <laughs> so the weather's been absolutely atrocious lately, so I've got the shed completely closed up to try and keep the wind down. The shed got super dusty while I was trying to file and sand the bog as much as possible. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into some painting and some undercoating and just sort of clean it up a bit, 
um, yeah, get it as good as I can. So what I'm going to do now is drop the car sort of off the hoist. The rims that are holding the car up, I'm going to cut them back into sets of two. So I can hold the car on two rims on all four corners. Then I can move the hoist arms completely out of the way, which will give me enough room to get in and do the painting all in one hit. So I'm going to mask the doors up as well. Um, and yeah, let's see how we go. All right. So you can see now the car is sitting on two rims each corner. So the hoist arms are completely off and I've still got plenty of room underneath the car. So what I'm going to do is open the back door now. I'm going to mask off the bottom half of the back door and then clean all of this up, getting ready for some satin black. Um, I'm going to stone guard the underneath and the inner, inner sill panels. And I might stone guard like half up this sill panel um, or half up the outer sill panels, I should say. And then, yeah, satin black the rest. So let's jump into that. So as you can see, the first coat's on. Probably went a bit heavy with the first coat. I sort of dusted it and then went back over it. But um, yeah, that is satin black. So it's gonna dry to like a semi-gloss, sort of like you can see there, um, which should hide a lot of the imperfections because I'll worry about it really when it goes for panel and paint because uh, yeah, at the moment, it's just gonna be near enough good enough. So this sill is almost done. Um, I'll give it a couple more coats of satin black just to thicken it up and then I will move over to the other side on that side over there and we'll restart the whole process again. So the nerves are about to kick into overdrive again. I've actually booked this thing in for engineering now so I'm going to get my ass into gear and finish off the rest of the stuff. I updated my list um, on the board just before. I'll show you that now. All right, so this is all the stuff that has been done and is still needs doing. Got to fix the speedo because it's going to be reading out because of the trans and gear assembly and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the coolant leak at the turbo, that's what was smoking on the dyno. Um, so that's, yeah, got to get fixed up. It's just leaking out of one of the outer fittings. Uh, I've got to put some split pins in the tie rods. I'm going to clearance the bumper a little bit more for the boost pipes when they run in here. I've just got to give them a bit more of a, a lick off them. Um, what else have we got? An alignment. Uh, that's I'm gonna go to my buddy Jai's and get him to do the alignment for me got to fit the interior back in it which I've actually got a Fairmont interior to go in got to fit the washer bottle and I finish the vacuum lines and check all the vacuum works because these two vacuum lines just chilling not doing anything um, they just need to be plumbed into the vacuum circuit all right guys so I suppose I owe you guys an update it's been a couple of days as again like the works pretty slow on this thing um, I've sat and blacked all the sills like you probably would have just seen previously, but I came back out the next morning and I really wasn't happy with it. So I sanded it again and got into the bog again um, and made it a hell of a lot cleaner than what it was. It's still by no means 100%, but uh, it is a lot cleaner than what it is or than what it was. So now what I've gone and done, I'll show you quickly, is I painted the sills satin black again and now I've gone back through and undercoated them or given them like a stone guard. So this gives it a textured finish. So um, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera at all, 
but this is a textured finish, so it should also hide a few of the imperfections. Um, it's similar to like an underbody coating. So once that dries, I'm gonna leave it a couple of hours now, but once that dries, I'll be able to go ahead and um, hit it with another coat of satin black on each side. And yeah, another couple of coats on each side and the sill panels are done. Near enough, good enough, I'm over it. I'm sick of working on this thing already. So yeah, I've also redone my list up here on the board. If my camera focuses properly. So yeah, I've done the vac lines. Uh, I've got to clearance the bumper. I've got to get some split pins. I can't remember what I showed of this earlier. But anyways, vac lines are pretty much done. So I've got these two here teed in. Got a piece of vac line there. That is the check valve from the EL Falcon. So or I think it's from the EL. So I have no idea if it's going to hold up to boost and if so, how much. Um, that's assuming also I don't blow one of these connectors off. But anyways, the vac lines are done. The washer bottle is in. I just need to fill it up and check that everything works. But I won't be doing that until I get some wipers on it as well because the wipers are down in here, but they are corroded and horrible. As you can see there, focus, like that. So I'm gonna try and track down some wiper arms, otherwise I'll have to clean those up and paint them. But either way, that's done. Um, next job will be to attack the coolant line that's down in there on the turbo and put some new washers on that. And then that's most of that list done. So coolant leak, gotta clearance the bumper like I said. I've just gotta give a little bit more clearance down in here because when the bumper is actually attached and pulled up it's pretty close if not touching the pipes so I've actually marked which you can sort of see thanks to the dust I've marked on the bumper where I need to cut I just need to pull it off and cut it and then I've also got to adjust the speedo so this thing's gonna go off for a wheel alignment I'm hoping maybe later this week maybe next week sometime and while I'm out there, I'm going to be driving this thing on a permit. And while it's on the road, it'll allow me to do a lot of things. I'll be able to listen for noises, anything else that's going to be of concern. Um, obviously, I've got a lot of work to do before then. I've got to put all the guards back on, all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, I've got to get this thing ready for the road. And I'm going to be driving there on a GPS speedo on my phone on the dash. Because the speedo in this car doesn't read correctly because of, obviously, the different combination that's in it different gearing all that sort of stuff so so what i'm gonna have to do is while i'm driving to the wheel alignment um i'm gonna be checking the speedo on the dash or on my phone rather that's gonna be attached to the windshields obviously i do not condone using phone while driving it is one of my pet hates but um yeah i'll be checking my speed and making a note of where it is relative to the dash speed because I will have to go into my Canberra module and update or change a couple of things. Nigel's going to run me through it all. And we're going to change the speedo output in the Canberra module, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Um, and, yeah, it's. I think next time you see this thing, I'll be showing off how the sills look. And we'll probably be driving to a wheel alignment. So... Stay tuned, I'll reveal the sills once they're all done and dusted and hopefully they don't look terrible. But um, until then, yeah, I don't know, you guys will see it in two seconds, but for me it's still like another week away. But uh, yeah, you, now you know the game plan and uh, what's coming next. guys the sills are done i've bogged them i've painted them yes they're not 100 percent but i really couldn't give a rat's ass because it's good enough so yeah i put some texture coat on it to try and hide some of the imperfections of either the bog or the welds or whatever uh tried my hand at bogging it was an absolute pain in the butt uh i went into it underprepared and yeah but i learned a lot along the way so it was a really good learning curve for me the whole fiasco with the sills was a really good learning curve 
So yeah, if you're still watching, thank you very much. Please don't forget to check out the Patreon, um, check out the rest of the channel if you haven't seen it, and don't forget to like the video. Drop down in the comments if I've done a good job, a shit job, any feedback or advice you have, or even just say, hey man, you're doing a good job, because all of the comments I read, and they give me so much more motivation to keep this project going, because it has been an absolute roller coaster. Thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. See you all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.